Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. So I'm going to show you the best way to create a freeze frame in DaVinci Resolve 18. So there are different ways which you can create a freeze frame and that's the beauty of editing with DaVinci Resolve. You are able to do one thing through different means. <laughs> All right, so today I'm going to show you the best and easiest way which you can actually do your freeze frame so it looks more professional and less hectic. So join me in this tutorial. All right, so as you can see here, I've got my sample footage. Let me mute the audio. And um, this is the text here. I'm going to move the text out so that we can just deal with the video. So the audio is muted. We're just dealing with the video. So this is the video, just uh, a lady. I'm going to use my in and out here so it can loop. Put on my loop so we can see it over and over. All right. So this here you're seeing is the lady. She's a kickboxer. As you can see, she's just um, practicing. It's looping over and over. And um, one of the first thing which you want to do is to look for the point where you want to freeze okay so if you look at this her action is she threw a kick a threw a kick and a punch so you can either tell yourself okay the action point here is um, the kick or the punch it's left for you to decide but uh, for the reason of this video we're going to use the kick so where she raised her leg to take the kick we're going to freeze the kick there and then unfreeze it after a um, few seconds. So you can um, expand your video clip by pressing down opt and use your scroll wheel on your mouse, okay? So your video clip can widen so you can see it more properly. Uh, let me take out the this audio um, here so we can have a full space, okay? So here we are. So looking at it we want to freeze it at the kick so i already had a marker here i'm going to take it out click it and um, delete so you want to create a mark where you want your freeze frame to start from so when you play your video you move and boom right there right there where she puts her um, raises her leg to kick and you can also use your jkl to have the perfect um, frame. Okay, so if you press your K down and you tap on your L, you see it goes forward. And if you want to take it backwards, still pressing K, you tap on J and it moves backwards. So I think where we want is where the leg is about to be stretched. So somewhere here, this is a perfect um, frame here. So once you're here, you click M. So M. Um, gives you that point of your uh, frame. All right, so that's good. So coming now we've gotten our mark. One of the ways which you can get your freeze frame is on your, um, you come here um, to your clip, you press your clip and then you go to freeze frame, right? Which is up arrow R and you do your freeze frame. Now, what this does is when you come to playback, you see, the whole video is frozen right from the point which i from the mark which uh, from the point which i had the mark you can see the whole video it's it's frozen okay so this is one way which you can do a freeze frame but is this what you want what we want to achieve is the video plays it freezes at the middle and then continues playing after some seconds so this is a freeze frame here but this is not what we want to achieve so i'm going to undo this right now we're back to the original now another way which you can also do your um, freeze frame is to go back to your clip um, up here you click you come to your change clip speed which is r so when you click that it opens this um, box for you and then you come here to freeze frame right freeze frame and you click on freeze frame and you say change now look at what happens it automatically splits your clip into two the first one plays it gets to that point and it freezes the the other part turns to an image so 
you see phrases and then your video ends okay but remember what we want to achieve is we play the video it gets to a point it freezes and then it continues playing afterwards but what this does what this technique has done for us is play freeze end okay so this might not be the best for you okay like i said depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day okay so now um also instead of you coming to this um up here clip here to get that you can also right click if you right click it shows you the same thing and you go to your um change clip speed you know and you do the freeze frame it does the same thing so if you don't want to use this way you can always do the right clip right click um method okay but now let me show you the right and best way and very easy way of doing your freeze frame just like the sample i showed you so what you want to do here is you're going to right click and you go to your retime control where is it retime control which is your command r okay your command r so when you click that you see what it does it brings you here right it brings you it opens this in your footage uh i can just increase this a little bit so you see what we have here now you can see our speed is on 100 percent right but we're not doing speed ramp here what we're doing we're doing our freeze frame so once it's it has given you this and remember we have our mark here we already have our mark here so what you're going to do here is you come to this hundred percent here this drop down um arrow here box here you click it and when you click it opens a bunch of options for you it's got add speed point change speed reset to hundred percent freeze frame and others and this video tutorial is for freeze frame so you come here to freeze frame and then you click freeze frame all right now let's see what it does let's reduce this video so you see what it has done here so because we click that freeze frame it created a freeze frame in between our clips starting from where we had our um, marker and it's ended at some point and then we still have our video right so this blue here you this blue arrow means the video is playing is going to play there and this red mark here means it's frozen and at the end it plays again so from here now if you look at it now let's play boom freezes okay so let's um, increase our in and out to the end of this clip this is a different clip let me move it out so look at what it gives us play freeze and play again all right so that is exactly what we wanted to achieve as you can see so you can also um, reduce the clip size by dragging this okay you drag it in and um, let's bring our out point here by clicking o and you play freeze play you see that freeze play freeze play okay so let's um let's do that again to our second clip again as you can see here this is our clip let's put our in and out here so we just hover around this so you can see this is a clip of our subject just running towards the camera and then we want to freeze this at some point so let's say this is where we want to freeze remember the first option of coming here clip and then freeze frame when you do that it just freezes your image and that is not what we want and also the second option remember what it does but the third option which is the best and easiest way is you look for your mark which is here you click your m okay which puts a mark a blue mark on your on your image so that you know the exact point um then from there you right click it go to retime controls or you use your command r when you click it it opens this and then you come into this box here you look for your freeze frame okay once you click your freeze frame 
Look at what DaVinci does. Okay. DaVinci automatically freezes the frames, few frames from your Mac for you. Now look at it. Freeze and play. Do you see that? Play, freeze and play. So that's the easiest way of how you can just do your freeze frame. You don't need to um you don't need to do a lot. DaVinci has made it very easy. Just by one, two clicks, you'll get your freeze frame and you'll get your cinematic video. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button, like and put a comment there. Tell me what kind of tutorial you want to do. Oftentimes, I try and simplify the method so that as a beginner, you can easily grab um, and understand how to make um, cinematic edits in DaVinci Resolve. So let me know what kind of tutorial you want me to do next for you. Thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe. Bye.